No, I'll say the line after I start cleaning the bowl. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I was just cleaning my Tibetan bowl. You know what else is from Tibet? The Dalai Lama. And if there's one thing I like better than the Dalai Lama, it's the next Dalai Lama. And it just so happens that during my recent ultra spiritual journeys, I discover the next Dalai Lama who's presently reincarnated in his next lifetime during this lifetime. So naturally I see it as part of my spiritual duty to introduce you to the next Dalai Lama. Well, as the next Dalai Lama, uh, I feel extremely Tibetan. Uh, I'm elated that uh, I've been discovered as the next Dalai Lama, uh, but being a Taoist Buddhist, I can't actually be elated because we're not allowed to feel emotions. So it's neutral. Uh, I'm, I'm so unattached that you can't even call me detached anymore. Uh, so now I've actually become reattached and unattached from the reattachment that I detached from with the unattachment. At first it was very frightening for me when the monks kidnapped me and took me away from my family. I grew to love them and now the monks are my family. Uh, I will neither confirm nor deny the rumors that I'm more ultra-spiritual than the previous Dalai Lama because um, that would be letting my ego take control, but I'm definitely more ultra-spiritual than the next Dalai Lama and the previous Dalai Lama and all the other Dalai Lamas. I decided to change His Holiness the Dalai Lama to Its Holiness the Dalai Lama because uh, I just didn't think that the gender binary really fit my lifestyle anymore. The skeptics that say I don't look like a seven-year-old boy clearly have never seen a seven-year-old boy in the body of a 33-year-old boy. And to them I would say uh, maybe you should move along because uh, in this lifetime uh, you're wrong. You know, I don't, I don't think celibacy is going to be that much of an issue for me um, because uh, I'm not saying the ashram is a big party, but the ashram's a big party. Well, it, engaging sexually with, with my followers, um, y y you know, it's, it's a very, um, it's a unique experience uh, with each person, um, but oftentimes uh, I just walk up and say, hey, I'm the Dalai Lama. And, and after that, it's just, uh, it's simple because they want to worship me, so I let them. The, the sex isn't about me. It's not, it's not for, for me at all. It's to make sure that my followers uh, are able to connect to their own spirits and uh, so that their enlightenment uh, is more easily attainable. So in, in having sex with them, what I'm really doing is, is giving of myself so that their lives can be better. Uh, the spiritual mission statement that I would like the world to receive from my Dalai Lama hoodness would be uh, gather currency and fornicate tantrically. As Its Holiness the Dalai Lama, uh, my aura on an auric scale is a 12 out of seven, uh, so it's a perfect 10. As the first Its Holiness the Dalai Lama to shun Buddhism in favor of Scientology, I feel like a trailblazer. Well, I think we can all agree that's nothing short of breathtaking wisdom from this sentient being. Dali is a mystical one. And now that you've seen this spiritual light, you'll probably want to subscribe to my YouTube channel because if you don't, hungry children in Tibet will get hungrier. And they'll probably get more Tibetan. Would you really want to do that to them?